Hey everybody, welcome. I thought we'd model a quick um, spaceship science fiction hallway. Yeah, cool. So here we have the big, medium, small model shop Greebles asset pack. And I know that I need to have some graded flooring. So I'm just going to steal these uh, landing, uh, what do you call them, landing ramps. And I'm just deleting a few things. I don't really mind that there are a bunch of stuff that I don't really uh, care to explain or bits and bobs that sticks into uh, into the air or into the, into space, so to speak, because I know that details are good for a science fiction corridor. So here I'm just uh, grabbing a bunch of, of bits uh, from the pack and I'm sort of laying them out here and trying to get a get an idea of what I want to do with them. I widen the, the floor section um, with this here grating in the middle and I know I want some three-dimensionality to the floor plane itself so that it isn't just a box that you walk through. I want some some complicated geometry that uh, upon which there is a, a grate and then you can add pipes and vents and all kinds of funky stuff in and around the, the spaces that are left, the, the gap so to speak. For me, uh, science fiction is, is a lot about complexity and, of course, uh, inviting the viewer to try and understand the space that they're in without actually giving any answers. So having complexity that is not necessarily explained can really be a benefit to achieve this uh, this sensation here. Here we see I'm adding some, some elements that I know uh, that'll function sort of as ribs as we copy this element uh, later in, in the in the process. Um, and I want it to be a little bit, you know, complicated. But here you can see I'm scaling down the, the rib there to be not super loud. So that when I copy it many times, it will it won't be too obstructive. I know I need some of that detail I talked about before, like pipes and, and whatnot. And here I'm assembling some of those uh, elements. Everything from, from sort of junky pipe work below the, the walking plane. And you can see I have a guard bail as well. So I'm trying to sort of get a feel of the of the flow of the whole shape of course we know we need lights and so I'm, I'm i'm thinking sort of of an alien type type hallway so i'm getting these uh, these elements here that you can almost imagine them being openable and them containing some sort of uh, something or that maybe they're just pads right like we've seen in in the movies and here this element in particular is sort of inspired by some of those set dressings we, we we've seen in, in, in alien and, and other classic science fictions where there is sort of this uh, sense of decoration uh, in in an otherwise really really harsh space i really like that so here i'm copying out the elements i'm trying to get a feel for how it looks here you can see the ribs i was mentioning that they are not hyper complicated they are sort of low complexity so that i can i can add complexity later here i'm adding in some pipes and some some noise in the uh, in the edges of the of the hallways and I, I know I want sort of a an intersection happening so you can see I don't really care about precision I know it's not going to show up on the on the render and for the purposes of this exercise this is fine I'm not doing a game environment it doesn't have to be be super precise <clears throat> if this was the case obviously it would have taken longer to make it again here you can see I'm exploring the idea of really utilizing the three-dimensionality of the space so that you have a main floor, but maybe you have sort of an access level up on the right uh, that you can use to sort of access the, the mechanics and the, um, I don't know, vent boxes and, and whatever. Here for the for the corner, I'm just trying to sloppily cover up the mishmash geometry. Again, like I'm saying, it's not about precision, it's about sort of feeling and the emotion of the space. Again, this I think this bites me a little bit later on where it feels like it's not nearly good enough but for now i believe in it and i believe it it, it can work these here um, pipes from the pack they're, they're quite simple they aren't super complicated but i find that you can really really uh, use them in many different ways here you can see I'm just copying in a hallway and cutting in a, a hole. Like again, really lazily done because I'm not super worried about precision or uh, what it could or couldn't be. You know, if you wander down to the edge, 
of the scene you will be able to see the holes in the scene but it doesn't matter for the purpose of the of the video and, and the exercise i'm dressing for camera and it, which is a thing i i tend to do quite a bit here i'm adding a event of some sort maybe we can play with that later with lighting or we can sort of insinuate drama in the scene by having an event that is open maybe somebody's escaping up there or something i haven't decided yet i haven't really thought about it yet i'm adding some lights these are just some of the lights that are light uh, planes that are in the pack and i'm just adding them and 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 smashing them up uh, in the ceiling in between the the ribs of this particular element it feels sort of like dirty lights on a bus or something even though actually if you zoom in you can see that they're windows but for the purpose of this it, it's it's fine so again testing out some rough lighting ideas This is a good time to test different directionalities and things like that. You know, what's the atmosphere you want? Of course, lighting from below is a classic sort of horror trope or techie trope, if you will. Uh, something, a lighting scenario that we aren't used to seeing as, as uh, humans that often. So it can make you feel, um, you know, that you are uh, in a place you shouldn't be or it can make you feel slightly uncomfortable or something like that. So this is a good time to test different uh, different lighting ideas. Again, placing a light up in the in this here hatch that I talked about before. Something about ensuring that the light source doesn't bleed into too much of the hallway, illuminating it too widely, which would of course kill the, the horror vibe. Ooh, shadows, right? We like those. That's fun. So let's place some lights below these graded floors. That, that gives a, a nice, uh, complicated feeling. And here, just smashing in some lights in, in the far hallway to see if I can get some of that emergency feeling. Again, this video is sped up, so of course it, it's a little flickery here, but just venturing back into the pack and sort of finding elements that I think might be of interest to the to the to the scene as a, as a whole. Now I'm trying to break up the um, segmented look of it of the hallway and, and trying to plug in some some stuff and some junk that makes it feel a little bit more complicated than it really is. You can see I'm adjusting how the different elements feel uh, in terms of scaling and flow. What about a doorway to a vent or a access tunnel or maybe an escape port or who knows? I'm actually not thinking a lot about where these hallways are leading to. At this stage, I'm just plugging in stuff to see if I if I like it. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of times you end up spending too much time on worrying about the wrong thing at the wrong time. So, um, I suppose you could do uh, a tunnel like this, knowing exactly where's the bridge, where's the brig, where's the this, where's the that, where's the engineering bay, and where are the where are the um, access to the to the escape pods and so on and so forth. I'm not particularly worried about that because I feel like thinking too much about it would obstruct my workflow and the tempo that I'm looking for. So I'd much rather get ahead and, and, and move fast and then come back to it and sort of, uh, after the fact, engage my analytic mode and uh, and then make choices. Again, playing with the lighting from below. You can see I, I added, uh, I moved the, the walkway to the to the right to allow the, the flooring and, and the um, let's say, oddness of the space to really shine through. And since I have sort of, I have a subtle lighting, I have the red al alarm-esque lighting, I'm playing with the, with what we can do with a, a bright, sort of, a bright, um, overly uh, powered light. Oftentimes, having a hallway like this, it, of course, it, it relies on contrast and, um, really really boosting the whites and really really 
uh, crushing the blacks can usually work really well. Again, I'm looking for more complexity to the shape. I feel like it's a little bit simplistic. Maybe I've gotten used to it, um, this sort of octagonal shape. And here I'm diving into the big medium, medium small pack and I'm finding some uh, some geezers that I can populate the space with. There's some blue collar guys that uh, I can in a quick way get away with uh, pretending that they are, let's say, uh, employees of the particular company that the spaceship or whatever uh, is beholden to. Which is funny that you see here that the environment is actually so getting so noisy that you have to have movements on these characters to see them because they sort of blend into the to the environment. Yeah, this straight um, octagonal shape is boring me and I'm doing some crazy experiments here. Is that better? I don't know. You can see these these blocks that I plugged into the intersection there. Now they just make they, they've sort of ruined the aesthetic since I pulled out the, the sides. So again, um, obviously when you make big changes like I just did here, you can see I tested rotating it just for for giggles, you know. Um, but again, the, the point of this is not to take it too seriously and just be open to experimentation and and uh, fooling around. You can see some of the elements are, are copied and some of the elements are instanced. Yeah, no, that didn't work out. Let's get back to the scene and try a few different things out. I have a few ideas. So the first thing I want to fix, the first thing that I'm not satisfied with is uh, the fact that the, the new shape of the whole space got a little too uh, simplified somehow. It didn't really it didn't really have the dynamism I was looking for when I originally started this uh, this build here. So. I like the idea of having one of the walls be kind of um, close to the walkway and then having this odd recess in the other. I find that works pretty well. So that's what I'm doing. You can see here that I'm also considering, reconsidering uh, what to do with the lighting. I felt the lighting was a little bit mm, immediate, uh, I would say. And here I'm playing with some, some ribs again uh, on this to get sort of that the feeling that when the light um, dissipates down through the hallway it it will change its appearance based on how thick these ribs are the next thing I'm doing is playing with the the walkway itself I wanted to add a, a bit of an intersection closer to the camera so in having made the hallway a bit deeper um, I have space for a few more uh, details again this modeling is just really sloppy it's just to get the idea across yeah I think this has an interesting sense of dynamism for the for the hallway. I think the red lighting is a little too obvious and I'm trying out white hands that to make it a bit more neutral. You can see I'm playing with the geometry and don't really give a damn because I'm just uh, uh, not duplicating it but uh, instancing it which you know you can do that quite a bit in Blender without any trouble so I feel like down here on the left side of that white cutout that the, the white lighting uh, makes at the end of the hallway. That's an interesting opportunity for some geometry. I'm also uh, getting some, some lights that I can add to make a, bo a bit more of a uh, dynamic composition where we have sort of a, a, a line into the distance. You can see I'm placing the character where these laps sort of land. And then we have a line of the lights on the, the upper right hand. They they sort of lead the eye down to the, to the bottom. And I think this... Uh, it's an interesting composition. I add some red lights over to the left side. You can see it has sort of a... leads the eye a little bit. Makes you wonder what exists in the darkness. I figure it's time to play a bit more with lighting just to be um, on the safe side that, I, that I've made the right choices. Um, make sort of a grungy, alien-esque, orange-brown light over here on the right-hand side. To cast some of those shadows we, we saw earlier. Moving 
causing some clutter. And I feel like this hallway down here could use a different shape. Also decide to I like the cutout of that lighting in the in the intersection in the middle. And in, in that sense I choose to to put the the, light, the white light at the bottom hallway over to the left side again to make an even more dynamic um, composition. You can see that it's like a triangular composition leading the eye down uh, up to the top left and then sort of having dots of interest uh, as your eye moves right. The guy, the hallway, uh, the intersection hallway and then the last guy over on the right hand side. And that's really it. I think it landed in a much better space than where it started. And uh, that said, you can see there are a few issues. Uh, you know, there's a few offset points here where the geometry isn't really aligned properly. And uh, down here, you can see that this sort of auxiliary walkway or whatever, where you can sort of attend cables and pipes and whatnot, is of course broken by this uh, overpass now, which is a little clunky. That seems a little silly. So I think there's a bunch of things that can definitely be fixed. But at this point in time, I think it's a it's at a place that's good enough for you to take your artwork to a director, for instance, and, and ask if, are we on the right path here? Is this something we're looking for? Do we like the dynamic layout of the, of the hallway, or sort of the corridor as such? And then if that's a, yeah, sure, then, uh, then I would go ahead and I would uh, be much more precise with how the pipes are laid out and uh, fixing the, the sort of logical details of where you can walk and safety and signage and all these different things. Um, but that would be next steps. Uh, maybe maybe in 3D, maybe in Photoshop uh, or whatever 2D application you, uh, you choose. Um, but yeah, bunch of things to fix, but in a pretty good place. Thanks for checking it out.